This is Todd Medina coming at you today. We have a special guest with us from 360 Self Defense up in Los Angeles, Westchester. We brought our friend Ricky in today. Ideally, say normally with the technique. So we're, we've gone over knives and guns, and now I'm going to go over this crazy thing. So you'll be like, okay, this is what I'm going to do, so you know ahead of time what's going to go on. Okay, I just pulled this thing out, and we're just going to go over some things and get, catch him on the fly and see how good Ricky is. He's gone over a lot of things so far today that we haven't seen today, just a different way of doing it, and it's been all effective, and I would promote it uh, seriously. So here's what. How's your day, Ricky? Doing well, thank you. I appreciate you coming down with yeah, us. Yeah, of course, okay. of course, thank you. And obviously, I'm not going to go 100% on this, but I'm just going to just show you guys something because he's really quick on the fly, like, and he's fast too. So this shows some of you, like, if you do self-defense with a lot of guys, they're like, okay, so say if I pull the gun out, they like back it up and talk through it for an hour while they're thinking of what they're going to do. Like, you don't have that time to, if this gets brought upon you, to think about it. It's just got to be reaction. So say, for example, I come and there. Oh. <laughs> How easy is that for him? For me, I just take an aspirin. There's not much between a black belt and a, a brown belt with the self-defense. It's just other than you have to be able to do the same thing off the right side as off the left right. side, correct? Right. Yes, sir. So, and most people, and that's proper to get taught off your predominant side. The same thing in boxing, okay? If you can box off like a southpaw, you should be able to do the exact same thing off uh, orthodox. It's got to go back and forth. And that was really impressive to me that he had brought that up. Because a lot of times, if somebody pulls like, whatever, a stick, a knife, a gun, they're like, oh, I'm going to do it from, defend it from the right hand. What the hell if he pulls up with the left? Then what are you going to do? Come here. You can't do the big stuff until you can do the small stuff. The first thing is to actually advance. So being able to be in a side-by-side in -side stance, in a neutral stance, being able to push off and advance in. Right? That's the first thing. If you can't do that, if your feet don't move, then you're going to be too far and I'm still going to be in range. Because this is the part that does damage on the stick, right? The last couple inches. If I were to get hit with this part, not so bad. It still might hurt, give me a little bit of a bump, but not gonna crack my head open if it's like the end, right? So when he pulls that arm back, if you see there's like a little bit of a window here. I wanna think about diving into the window, right? So from here, I dive into the window. Notice how I had to move my feet to do that. If I dive into the window like this, I'm still gonna be out of place, right? It's always gonna be hands, body, then feet, but feet do have to move, all right? So hands come up first, I protect my jaw, I protect my head here. Think about diving in. As I dive in, I'm here into the window. I grab onto him and I knee. I collapse down my elbow. Let's rotate for me, please. My inside hand is always down here. My outside hand is on top of the tricep, elbow down. If this hand is below the elbow, go ahead and pull straight back. Right? I want to create a door stop. Go ahead and pull straight back. In order for him to pull, no one's going to pull their arm in a straight manner like this. They're going to do this. So I get above the elbow on the tricep, clamp down. I knee, I headbutt, I groin kick, I stomp, whatever it is, until he's soft enough to be able to either drop the weapon, he drops it, cool. I can just continue to beat him up, disengage from there, right? If the only time really that I take the weapon away, is if there's another attack or I see somebody else coming, I'm here, I slide down to his, to his hand. I cut across, boom, and now I can go ahead and create distance between both of them, right? Otherwise, just beat the crap out of them until they drop the stick. Don't worry about the self or the takeaway part of it. Eventually, you beat them long enough, the stick is gonna fall. Let me keep it there, yeah. Yeah. So if you just hear, boom, 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 I'm just here beating them up, throwing elbows, whatever I want. He doesn't drop it, or if I have to go, someone's coming. I slide down. I cut across with this hand here. But if he's still coming at me, boom. That's why I always throw this hammer fist just in case. You get the stick, boom. Use it here, however I want. So here's what I'm going to say. So does this work off of a smaller guy and a larger guy? Definitely. That, that's yeah. what problem guy is. Okay. Right? To try to minimize. Obviously, size matters. That's why there's weight classes. Yeah. Right? But try to minimize that discrepancy as much as possible. Because I'm not using power here. What I'm using is technique. I'm here. It doesn't take much for me to take my forearm and hit your thumb with it. I don't care who's, who, how small your, your uh, attacker is or how big they are. Yeah. doesn't matter. My girlfriend's 4'11". She does this to bigger individuals all the time as well. Okay. Right, so uh, that's a beautiful thing about martial arts in general. We try to minimize that discrepancy. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Of course. So, real quick, we're putting a bunch of this content today, a bunch of these videos together. So, the best way to get hold of you, Ricky? 310 846 2251. 310 846 2251. Call me. Go straight to me. And Big C, what's the best way to get hold of you? Big C, send it to on Instagram. Okay, and obviously you know how to get a hold of me, Todd Medina MMA. If you have any questions about anything that we've gone over today, 
for me to get a hold of one of these two guys or myself, please don't hesitate to DM me and we'll get you taken care of. But for right now, if you didn't know, now you know.